Sometimes life throws so many things at us that we can hardly keep up. If you're anything like me, sensitive and caring a lot about others, about the environment, about people far away who suffer severe hunger because a drought has destroyed the harvest and is a direct result of climate change. When you worry about your kids, about your loved ones, about what the next months will look like. If you're affected by the fights going on between those who believe and those who don't believe in the measurements taken to deal with the pandemic, or those stupid power plays by politicians on the back of the public. When you can feel all this tension and you feel more and more drained from it, there's a good chance that withdrawal feels like an attractive escape. How can we find the courage to show our own vulnerability without fearing the trolls, the naysayers, those who will always find the negative in anything? How can we stay true to ourselves and withstand the storm trying to take us with it? I don't have the Holy Grail, but the first thing that will always help me when I feel overwhelmed is to take a few deep, concentrated breaths. I close my eyes and I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Do this a few times with me. Breathe in and out. in and out in and out how are you feeling now Hello, by the way, really great to have you here. And since you're already here, would you be so kind to actually push the like button underneath this video and maybe also to subscribe to my channel? I mean, if you haven't already, of course, because I mean, this would really, really help me. And it would probably also help other people to find this content and benefit from it so that would be great and maybe you want to do this right now i'll wait here are you ready okay let's continue i've recently gone through a bit of a transition phase creatively the phd program is incredible and while it for sure is a huge challenge it also gives me so many opportunities to grow to learn more about the artist I want to be, what kind of stories I want to tell and how. With all this input, I feel rather overwhelmed all of a sudden. I feel where it pulls me and I have glimpses in my imagination of what I want to create, what this will look like, but I don't have the skill set yet. And that is for someone who can be rather impatient with herself, really frustrating at times. That is the reason I haven't been able to release a new video earlier. I want to step up my game and increase the quality of my videos. And that is currently an uncomfortable block in my way to just create. I'm not entirely sure yet what to do with this insight. I mean, listening to my own advice to others, I should just embrace the process and accept that the video's quality aren't there yet, but they help me to evolve my skill set. That could be the answer. At least I know at this age and with many years of experience in my creative life that this state is something that is necessary and in fact a good sign for an impending breakthrough of some sort. But that knowledge does never make it really easier while being at this stage. 
I was wondering if it even makes sense to post anything at all at the moment. But then I thought to myself, what if someone else is in a similar situation? What if me sharing how I feel, what I tried doing to embrace the process instead of hindering it, could help someone else? Even if it is just one person who feels a bit better, feels understood, feels a tiny bit more hope, that makes it worth it. So with that in mind, I allow myself to give my best and see what I can create at this point and to trust that sharing it will be a benefit to others. Part of opening to the process is an increased level of vulnerability. And I feel how I'm more affected by what is going on around me and in the world. How much of a protection wall is necessary to stay okay through all of this? Maybe it's enough to stay away from the news and social media, but maybe it requires more drastic measures. Sometimes it can even mean to have a close look at all the relationships in our life, to see which ones nurture us and which ones drain us. What do we do with those who make us feel miserable? Logic would say to remove them from our lives. If that were so easy, we would have done it long ago, wouldn't we? Thank you to my patrons. Your donations mean the world to me. Thanks to you, I can continue to grow as an artist, as a filmmaker. If you're someone who would like to support me, there is a link down below in the description box that you can click and you will end up on my Patreon profile. Everything is appreciated. It doesn't matter really how high the number is. Everyone is entirely appreciate it because you have no idea how much this means to me and how much it helps me because you know with these donations for example I can try out new things I can buy every once in a while new music because that helps then to enhance the message and also the atmosphere of the videos that I'm making so thank you so so much but there are other ways to support me if, if you seek to do so. And of course, one of them is to subscribe to my channel and occasionally share my videos with people who would probably benefit from the content. So thank you for doing that anyway. And also leave a comment down below. I really love to chat with you and hear your thoughts. Thank you for your patience and for still sticking around and for everybody who has watched a video for the first time and to the end because now I'm closing it up um, thank you very 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 much and have a lovely rest of the summer or whenever you're watching it or from wherever you're watching it um, and stay creative and take care lots of love bye bye <laughs>